fire department received a call in reference to a, a fire. Um, once on the scene, they were able to uh, go inside. Once inside, they discovered there were two deceased bodies inside. At this time, can you tell us what may have caused the fire? At this time, it's, it's still being investigated. Okay. By you all and nothing else to deal with mobile fire rescue? Um, we're both going to be uh, working an investigation together on this. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, so very limited information at this time that could be given out. But it, once again, uh, he can confirm that uh, two people uh, are now deceased from this fire. Um, of course, we will continue to stay on top of this and give you more information on air and online as we learn more. But for now, I'm Amber Wrigley, WKRG News 5. Be rapping that shit and really ain't got no resume to bag it up you know what i'm saying i will say that you know what i'm talking about like the streets talk and they certify that shit that nigga talk about and if if the streets didn't talk and certify this situation right here certify the shit that nigga was talking about you know what i'm saying this shit don't happen to regular niggas i ain't say this shit don't happen i say this shit don't happen to regular niggas you don't owe no nigga a thousand dollars and a nigga come kill your grandma and your granddaddy and burn the house down. You know what I'm saying? You don't run off with a pound of weed and a nigga come do no shit like this. So you know that it's some real gangster shit going on. So to anybody that don't think it get gangster down here in the South, you mistaken. And you need to cut your TV on. You know what I'm saying? Like, but just to be real, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's the energy that get put out there. And a nigga got to be ready to stand on all 10. So, and everybody like, but I know we finna go crazy. And it's like, shit, you fucking right. And he not going to be able to go crazy. Or he already would have been in the city going crazy. It's just like, he can try. He going to have to figure something out. Shit hitting him hard right now, though. That's for sure. That's for damn sure. And, and goddamn, and when you moving out this bitch with, with a real bag on your head, when niggas really want you gone, you know what I'm saying? Like, this that other shit that don't always get took into account at all the time. You don't always think how this shit can be that close to your family and touch you right. So you thinking it's all boo because a nigga can't get you. I'm all the way this many states over. I'm out here balling. I tell you this. If that nigga wasn't having no motion with this music shit, this shit would have never happened. If he was the same, if he was the same little nigga going in and out of jail, coming home, trying to get up, you know what I'm saying, jug a pack, he still finessing niggas or whatever, this shit wouldn't have happened. But to have that type of shit going on and reach this level of success, bro, the niggas that hate you, it make them hate you that much more. Niggas that already want you dead, it make them want you that much more dead, you know what I'm saying, just on some real shit. The higher you get, you know what I'm saying? The more it's a slap in the face to them niggas that you still living. That you still operating like that. You know what I'm saying? And we're not going to speak on the details of what happened or why nigga into it. If you that interested in it, do your homework. You know what I'm saying? Do your homework. I'm not speaking. I'm not telling no names, no situations. We just got them giving our condolences. You know what I'm saying? To this situation, we, we, we showing attention to it and letting niggas know that this shit really happens down here. Niggas really like that. And I guarantee it. This won't be the last of the coverage. This won't be the last of the coverage. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before in my last video, I'm not no blogger, you know what I'm saying? But something this close to home, a nigga got to touch on it. Nigga, this eight miles away. This right across the bridge, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga was just over that bitch. Nigga just ran from the law over that bitch like, Two weeks ago, I was in the car with a nigga ran from the law. He got caught and shit, but that I'm saying this this right around the corner, fool. This right around the corner, so shit happening. You know what I'm saying? And if this just a message to all you rappers, all you aspiring artists out there, if you gonna rap about that gangster shit, if you gonna put an image out about that gangster shit, be ready to stand on that gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause a lot of niggas when that water get the boiling. A lot of niggas hop up out there, bitch. You know what I'm saying? They want to go back to school. Want to go find them a job, finally. When your mama and them been begging you to get a job the whole fucking time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to decide, my nigga. If this that water you want to be in, bro, it's real sharks out here. So you could do it for, for the internet. But 
when that shit cross over and hit real life on your ass, you just better be ready. You better be ready. Once again, send them condolences out to Cone, man. Out to his dad out there in the junk. You know what I'm saying? Free that man. I don't know if it was his pop pants or his mama pants. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But what I do know is I hate that for any nigga. Any nigga that have to go through that shit. You know? I hope it I hope it turned out to be a blessing at the end of it. Man, this shit might be what push him on through. You know what I'm saying? Like stores like this might carry him on to the top, but who the fuck cares about that shit? A man just lost his grandparent, fool. In a gruesome fashion. In a group. Oh killer. Oh killer. Blood dirty. Homie dirty say what bragging fool. Homie dirty say goddamn this is mama side. So you know. Either or, you know what I'm saying? That's probably the side that he was closer to raised where, you know, his daddy been doing time for a minute. So, you know, how that shit go, man. But real talk, man, if you're going to be out this bitch spitting that gangster shit, be ready to step on that shit. Be ready to step behind that shit you talking about. Because everybody not playing. Everybody not out this bitch, you know what I'm saying? Just putting that shit on the music, trying to get some views. Some niggas really living like that. And if you ain't living like that, I suggest stay the fuck on the porch. Cause nigga, it's it's <laughs> niggas out here, man. Niggas out this bitch, and goddamn, bro, god, that shit just gotta threw me for a loop. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that know me, they know how a nigga feel about my granny. You know what I'm saying? My grandmama got a store up here in the little in the little neighborhood or whatever like that, and she she been running that bitch for like 40 years, 50 years, some shit like that, and you know. It's the same type of deal. Like, nigga, you fuck with that, nigga, I'm coming. I ain't asking no questions. I'm not addressing shit. I'm not trying to get to the bottom of nothing. I don't want nothing but action. Behind that one, I don't want nothing but action. So, I don't give a fuck if you cuss a eye, you bump her. Nigga, you damn near bump my grandmama. Don't say excuse me, but I'm on your ass. Straight up. I don't give a fuck what you do with your grandmama. But when you come across mine, nigga, it's going to be respect to the utmost. Or you're not going to come around and don't say nothing to her. Straight up. So, you know, with that being said, bro, like, nigga, condolences to that boy, man. You know what I'm saying? If nigga had a line to reach him, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, just send that love to him because, like, bro, shit real. And if y'all that's into this shit, that's following this storyline, my nigga, stay tuned because I can almost guarantee you this ain't the end. Coming from either side, it ain't the end. You know what I'm saying? And, and to all you niggas out there that... Bro, if you're not connected to the situation, don't be connected to the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a time where niggas going to be wanting to prove their allegiances and all type of other shit. But, bro, if you ain't got no dog in the fight, you might not need to be at the fight. Because, boy, when them bullets start flying, ain't no names on nothing. And once some shit like this happen, the gloves come off. Ain't no talk. Ain't no ain't no goddamn, oh, he had, a, he had his goddamn little girl in the car, so we spat him. No. No, <laughs> no, Lord, no. You don't remember that old ass song by Webby when said it's time to kidnap some children, it's time to shoot up some houses. It's on that type of time. Like, it's serious. Like, niggas ain't, everything gone. All the rules and regulations is out the fucking window. It's war time. Everything that you prepare for, every Draco you done bought, every stick, every extra clip, you know what I'm saying? These boxes of ammunition. Nigga, this what this shit for. All your shooters that you done had around, everybody you done had in your video, nigga, this what this shit for. And and I ain't saying it to no nigga that know it, because a nigga that know what he know, he already know. You ain't got to tell no step on how to step. I'm talking to you illiterate motherfuckers out there who think this just some entertainment shit. And like, oh, like, nah, uh, call him a bit off more than he can chew. Shit. The little niggas he got around him, bro, he ain't got him around him for no reason. He ain't got him around him for no reason. You know what I'm saying? I can't call how this shit gonna fall. You know what I'm talking about? But I just wish my nigga the best. You feel me? Any nigga out here, especially nigga out this bitch chasing their dream like that, you wish your nigga the best. And you get back. I ain't got no dogs in that fight. You know what I'm saying? Now, if it was on some other type of time, you feel me? Then it is what it is. If a nigga do get thrown in, and just know a nigga gonna stand 10 toes. But, like, shit. You know? You know what I'm saying? It is this this that gangster shit. This that Alabama shit, that mobile cross the bay. You know what I'm saying? Like this that and if you from a city 
You can attest to the shit, man. If you from a city, if you from any, you don't even gotta be from a city, bro. This shit go on everywhere. But I'm just trying to let niggas know it go on here too. You know, niggas have shit fucked up, and they think you know, especially niggas that be from the city, nigga be from New Orleans, Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Miami, L.A. Niggas think that you know what I'm saying? Like out there, like shit don't get active and, and shit. That ain't the case. That ain't the case. Niggas is out this bitch killing cause ain't shit else to do in it ain't and, and niggas be broke. Niggas be broke. Drugs out this bitch and ain't shit else to do. That shit equals violence. Simple as that. Poverty. Poverty plus drugs equals violence. Everywhere in America, everywhere in the world. You know what I'm saying? When you got a lot of motherfuckers in one spot with not a lot of resources. Oh, it's gonna be some violence. Gonna be some violence. So nigga, put your seatbelt on and buckle up for the ride, cause it's finna get active. It's gonna get breaking. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga can't even nigga, it's so delicate right now. That's why nigga can't really say too much, cause like, nigga, I'm I'm a street nigga, so like nigga, I'm saying I'm talking to my people that's online and shit that fuck with me. You dig what I'm saying? Cause this is where we at with it. But far as like the situation on what's going on, all that shit still activated. So, nigga ain't touching none of that shit. Nigga not involved in none of that shit. It's going to fall how it's going to fall. You know what I'm saying? Whatever going to happen behind it, going to happen behind it. And I just wish niggas the best. You know what I'm saying? Wish niggas the best. Send my condolences. I hate to hear that shit, though. Hate to hear that shit. For real. You know what I'm saying? But I hope the nigga make it through that shit, fool. Real talk. I hope he don't got to crash and go back to prison. I hope he find a way to, you know what I'm saying, to, to settle this shit and, and get it done how he need to get it done or whatever need to be done or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> whew, shit. Just think about that shit for a second, bro. Just think, man, like, why well, I seen the man fade, why well, I seen the, the picture of the man fade while he watched like, you could just, man, it's like, fuck, my nigga, like, damn, no homo shit, but, like, you just want to give a nigga a hug, like, fuck, this, fuck, take, fuck, take all the image off, take all that shit off, none of that shit matter, but it's my grandma, my, boo. my granddaddy, man, you feel me, like, nigga lose, you know, it's hard enough losing your granddaddy to cancer, losing your, your granddad to, you know what I'm saying, losing your granddaddy to a heart attack. You feel me? Like, I lost my granddaddy to, uh, what, what was it, colon cancer? Prostate cancer. Prostate cancer. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was hard enough taking him to chemo and shit, watching that decline until he had finally passed. But, like this? Fuck. Fuck. And everybody shit, you know what I do? I be on... And I feel that same way too, but at first, bro, it's like that shit probably gonna be unrealistic. Like, oh, what the fuck? But all the niggas that you fuck with, shit, it's time to go in that bag, sit down at that table, and figure this shit out. You know what I'm saying? On brims. <laughs> On brims, it's time to sit down at the table and figure out what's what, what, what gotta happen from here. You know what I'm saying? And. You know, shout big shouts out to AO, Big Face Podcast. But this nigga called a lot of this shit speaking on, you know what I'm saying? They call, he called it the rap trap. And I got to agree with him. Like, I said this in the beginning when I started this live. If the nigga don't have the motion that he having with that music, this shit don't never happen. This shit don't never happen. But once he elevated himself until he wasn't no regular nigga no more, then... That's what made the niggas who was already against them. But now niggas, it's like, the higher you get, the more we feel disrespected. Because, you know, or the situation that happened prior, like, niggas is real enemies. You know what I'm saying? This It's, it's real hate behind these lines of these two sides. And, and, and the higher you go, you know what I'm saying? It, the other the other side feel disrespected. You feel me? You shitting on them. You doing your shit. You having motion. And you having your way, nigga. And the nigga salute you. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga that the nigga that already hates you, nigga, that's gonna make that hate turn into rage, boy. That's gonna make that hate turn into rage, fool. 
And uh, that's why niggas say you can't come up where you from. You know what I'm saying? Nigga gonna hate you out and, and get you out the way. But shit, this shit deeper than that. It's deeper than just hate on some, like, I'm hating on your success. But that's that's definitely fuel to the fire. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely fuel to the fire. So, nigga better recognize the signs of the times and get with it. And get with it. You know how you moving. And, and I, you know what I'm saying? Nigga would say, well, why you don't move your folks out the hood? Well, you know what was going on, bro. You know the nigga had the money on you. Why you won't move them? Shit, bro, that's your granny, nigga. That's they shit. They own that shit, been there for so many years. How you, he might have tried, and they told him, no, we ain't going nowhere. And you can't tell the niggas you beef with, like, bro, keep my people out of it, bro. That ain't how it go. That shit don't go like that. So, you know, you know, nigga gotta be safe. They got to be safe. And, I mean, how you avoid that shit, though? How you avoid that shit? You know it's murder beef. You know it's up there. It's stuck. It's been like that. Y'all niggas ain't... This ain't no first exchange. Like, nigga, this shit been activated. What do you do, though? When you know your people there, you know niggas know your people accessible. You feel me? <laughs> That nigga say online TikTok game back of shit. Man, I touch on it. Just tune in on the YouTube, but Brim D on YouTube. Go tap in with that motherfucker. It's a slew of videos. You can take your pick. Talking about white boys, talking about nigga just did one today about cheering, join games. You know what I'm saying? Young niggas and shit. And I ain't talking about young niggas 16, so I'm talking about 12, 13, 10, 11 type shit. Them kids and shit trying to get on the set or whatever like that. So, I ain't, but that ain't even up yet. I'm going to put that up there. But that's going to come after this shit. Because this shit had to happen right then. You know what I mean? Hey, but it's, when it goes so deep to where it's just, it's more than one nose might need to be white, fool. You know what I'm saying? Situation like this. Nigga ain't even really trying to find out who, who pulled the trigger. Because you, you know how the button got pressed. You know. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know how the button got pressed. So, it's like, shit. Ooh, something just hit. I ain't gonna speak on it, though. You know, to all my, <laughs> to all my real niggas, though, that's in the situation, bro. Just just stay tuned. That's what I tell niggas. Stay tuned. This this definitely wasn't the beginning. This definitely wasn't the beginning. And the damn show ain't the end. The damn show ain't the end. You know what I'm saying? So y'all niggas be safe out there, bitch, man. That's why, hey, that's why it's always us, never them, man. You know what I'm saying? With the game. Big brim shit, no little shit, man. Y'all niggas be safe. Straight off the top, I ain't got to spot him. No little rocket got him. He gon' slide him, tilt him right beside him. Waiting to catch a body. With that black four five red dot up on the bottom. Spot him, then he drop him. Hit shot, he might miss. Shin him ass, that's the body. All in Vegas, smoking in the lobby. Twin, you see him watching. Guess you know we got it. Hand me the dough like we running the option. Going to bank and I make a deposit. Chop up the dough like I know some karate. Brim shit, they don't know nothing about it. Stepping on.